Okay, uh, we're here with, with Melissa E. today. Um, how you doing, Melissa? Hey, Heidi. I'm doing fantastic, thank you. Yourself? I'm, I'm good. Um, so, uh, I understand you've been cut from the Mars One program. How do you feel about that? Well, it's, it's a dream that's not going to go ahead now, but other things will happen in tech, won't they? You know, I've got I've got lots and lots of things going on, Heidi, and um, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. It's it's done, and there's not a lot I can do about it. That was out of my hands, and you know, I I feel myself, Mars One may have made a mistake by cutting me um, for sort of reality TV reasons for the funding, but. That's their choice, they've taken it, and they can live with that. Okay, um, so um, what kind of things have you been doing since then? Oh, hi, Dee, I wish I could tell you. I mean, one of the things that's been released today, which I've done before the results was done, a uh, BICE documentary, um, it's been uploaded today. I've done a big television show, but I can't actually say what it is at the moment. Um, a few newspaper articles. I've got some more stuff coming up on the, the Mars One. Um, even though I'm out of it, they still want to interview me about it. They want, they want the Mars 100, some of them in the interview, but they still want me as well, Heidi, which... Again, is I I think obviously I can create media, and that would have been a good thing for the Mars One project because, like I say, it's all funded through uh, reality TV, media, and everything else. But unfortunately, I never made the cut. I've got a good idea why I didn't make the cut, and there's nothing I can do about that now. It's done. It's so far, and. It's move on from that dream now. I'm not going to reapply. I don't see the point of reapplying. Uh, as in my view, I would imagine Dr. Kraft has already had our answers, and the, the answers that I gave him to the main important questions is he would then probably see me as lying. If he asked me the same questions in the next round, why would I change everything just to try and get through to the next round? That's, to me, that would be wrong. And, yeah, it's, it's, if they put me through after changing the answers, it's, it would show that basically I'm a liar. So, no, I'm not even going to attempt to reapply. It's, it's something I wanted to do. It's not happened. I'm not going to dwell on it. I've got plenty, plenty more to get on in life with, and that's what I'm going to do. As you know, I'm a big promoter of diversity, anti-bullying, and I'll carry on with that and carry on being visible in whatever other ways I can. Um, awesome. Uh, so, um... Wait... So, um, what, what do you think of, um, so I heard that some, um, of your clients in your taxi business recognized you. Um, what do you think of that? Some of my clients were small. Uh, well, um, uh, your taxi, um, you're still a taxi driver, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right, Heidi. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy the. I enjoy tag team because it, it's talking to a lot of different people and everything. And yeah, I can tell stories. That's what I do. I tell stories. I dream build for people. You know, I'm I'm doing what I can, and I'll continue to do that. I do class myself as a bit of a dream builder because. I mean, at the end of the day, if, if I can get my goals and dreams, anybody can do it. I'm nothing special. 
I'm I'm just Melissa, so I'm hoping that I'm I'm showing everybody that if you set about what you want to do in life, you'll get it. You know, it takes hard work, but you will get it, Heidi. Awesome. So, uh, that's um, all I've got. Um, is there anything you'd like to add, Melissa? Yeah, how are you feeling about it all, Heidi? Oh, um, not too bad. Um, uh, I might reapply, or um, I might just try um, um, pushing forward a couple of other projects I've been thinking about doing. Um, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm just not going to beat myself up about getting rejected here. <laughs> 